The much awaited MIUI 12.5 update for the Indian variant of the POCO X3 Pro is here. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And guess what? The much awaited, super exciting MIUI 12.5 update for the POCO X3 Pro is here and we do have it running on our device. Now for full disclosure, this is the international variant of the POCO X3 Pro but I have flashed the Indian build on this device. As you can see, MIUI version is 12.5.3 stable. Android version is 11 security patch. Let us have a round of applause for Poco India and Xiaomi because at the time of recording this video, this is the current Android security patch. And before you ask me, hey Munchie, how the hell on earth was Xiaomi able to pull this off? Well, it was Independence Day in the States yesterday, so Google delayed the Android security patch, which generally rolls out on the first Monday of the month. So it will now roll out on Wednesday, aka tomorrow, which makes this a super exciting update for all Poco fans out there. Why? Because the latest security patch. Next thing you will notice is you do have a new boot animation along with a pretty irritating boot sound. So in case you want to disable that, you can head over to settings, sound and vibration, and then you can go into additional settings. Here it is, boot audio. Feel free to disable that irritating toggle. Then you also have some post notifications when you enable your DND, here it is. And of course, they do look pretty great. Other than that, if you access your notifications, and your ringtone options and your alarm options you do have the new tiled ui in case you do not see these options make sure you turn off your wi-fi and then kill the sound application open it one more time and it will take you to the tiled ui instead of their online sound and themes store next change you will notice is in the control center so here it is you can now swipe across the control center to access your notifications if you press and hold on any notification you do get the option of allow snooze and more then if you swipe down you will notice that the brightness bar slider is now pinned to the bottom everything else you can move up and down previously it would disappear below the screen so that issue has been fixed and when you try to change the brightness all the other icons disappear and you do get a pretty cool effect i have to give it to xiaomi other than that you still do not have your mobile data usage in the quick setting tile then if you have a look at the volume panel you do have a new volume panel over here so as you can see you can now turn on dnd to silence calls of course i got it and if you tap on this you do get the expanded icons so tap on the three dot on the top here expanded and if you enable dnd you now get a pretty cool looking slider wherein you can choose the duration of your dnd or what they call as dnd timer so yes the new volume panel does look pretty great Next up, if you head over to settings and then if you head over to apps, here and you will see two new options, manage home screen shortcuts and uninstalled system apps. So manage home screen shortcuts, here are the different options. Once you disable the toggle, the app will disappear from the home screen and it will be frozen as well. Uninstalled system apps. Now, normal English says that once you uninstall the system apps, they should show over here. So the list right now is empty and it is going to remain empty. Why? Because they did not give you the option to uninstall system apps, something which they bragged about in their global presentation. So here it is. File manager info. I do not have the option for uninstalling this application. I only have force, stop, disable and clear data. So either they wanted to, you know, add the list of applications which can be uninstalled over here or something which you have already uninstalled either way none of those features are working right now so that is what was new in this build now let us talk about what is missing so we still have poco launcher you call it poco i call it poop launcher why because the animations are still broken and you would expect them to fix this but they have been broken since the days of the glorious poco f1 recents do you have access to floating windows 
no you still do not have access to floating windows then another funny thing i noticed is if you go into your battery optimization so let us go into settings battery fixed battery usage right they do give you the option of a lot of things like lower the resolution to 60 hertz why would i do that why on earth did i buy a 120 hertz display then anyways if you scroll down see on top what they have optimized turn off always on display I mean if you read this and you think that this somehow added always on display to the poco x3 pro with this update no that is not the case they are just foolish and forgot to remove that option then we can have a look at the different applications so file manager do you get the new file manager no this is still the old one gallery again you still get the old gallery camera application any changes in the camera application no there are no changes in the camera application either do you get something like partial screenshot or those fancy features so let us go into settings additional settings and button shortcuts no you do not get the option of partial screenshot neither do you get the option of double tap on the back and power menu this is also still the old power menu which you get then do you get the highly popular miui 12.5 china privacy controls so privacy protection no you still have the old style the new style is wherein something is accessing your camera or say microphone you would get a notification in your status bar so all those features right now are miui 12.5 china exclusive and do note rumor has it that miui 13 is coming out this month and here we are global indian devices don't even have the full set of miui 12.5 china features so just be prepared for the worst when it comes to me ui 13. now moving over to the performance for starters all the tests were done at an ambient temperature of around 25 26 so below 30 degrees without a case and at 120 hertz refresh rate so here on screen are the four back-to-back -back n22 tests which were followed by a cpu throttle test as you can see the tests of N22, the numbers were consistent. We were consistently in the 574s. And here is the comparison between 12, 12.5.1, 12 12.5.2, and the latest 12.5.3 for the Poco X3 Pro. Now, as you can see, in N22, 12.5.3 performs the best, and the scores are consistent, but you do have some temperatures which might be higher than MIUI 12, but Again, once you increase the performance a little bit, do expect some more heating up and also expect some more battery drain. Similarly for your CPU throttle test, again 12.5.3 was performing the best and as you can see you have the maximum numbers in each and every case, the average, the maximum, the minimum. The CPU did throttle to 75% but that has been consistent across 12.5.1, 12.5.2 and 12.5.3 which begs the question right you have all these awesome great numbers which are consistent but in real life the performance is like not good at 120 you have lags and jitters in the UI, Google Chrome, Google feed everything is kind of laggy your Twitter feed so all those numbers might be good on paper but in real world they do not translate into a good smooth experience which is consistent with what miui is you have great numbers great hardware crippled with crappy software and before you ask me what is the final take on this 12.5.3 build well the final take is feature set is not super great for anybody to update so if you're fine with miui 12 you are getting good performance good temperatures your pubg is smooth bgmi is smooth gaming is good then i don't see a reason for you to upgrade to 12.5 but then again that is my personal opinion and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you